Let's see how you can gather keywords. Collecting the initial set of keywords is straightforward, but the number of potential sources is overwhelming. You can use Google's Keyword Planner, Google's Display Planner, Google's Autosuggest feature, Google and Bing related searches, Bing's Keyword Research feature within Bing Webmaster, you can collect keywords by brainstorming with various internal departments or using your existing Google AdWords campaigns. You can also use Google Search Console data or social media sources. Other less known sources for collecting keywords are internal site search data using Google Analytics or other web analysis tool, voice of the customer surveys and research, user testing, the anchor text of the natural links to your pages, and competitor analysis. Even though there is a plethora of keyword tools, arguably the largest set of keywords and search queries and the most accurate search volumes can be extracted from pay-per-click advertising platforms such as AdWords. A live campaign can generate a very useful list of long-tail keywords, and in my experience, that list is impossible to capture with any other tool. You should run product listing ads and dynamic search ads and use the search query report to get an amazing number of relevant keywords. Many of those keywords will be long tail keywords. And as you can see from this graph, it is easier to rank for a search query that has more words in it because the search query is usually less competitive. Unfortunately, many people stop their keyword research after collecting just quantitative data, such as search volumes. I call this the traditional keyword research approach. In the digital marketing world, this is a pretty common scenario. We identified that these keywords have the highest search volumes, so we should target them. We'll change page titles, we'll go with a 3% keyword density, and we will build a bunch of backlinks to the pages targeting those keywords. Or if the marketing person or the agency is more knowledgeable, it may sound like this. These keywords have a decent amount of traffic and have good conversion rates as per your analytics data. They are competitive and that's why we should optimize the internal linking and build backlinks to the most appropriate SEO pages. Yes, search volume data research is necessary, but you need to go much deeper than this if you want to increase organic traffic. Search volumes are just the starting point. You have to think of your users and their concerns, questions, and their fears, uncertainties, and doubts. All of these affect their purchasing decision. Once you understand these, create content that attracts qualified traffic and generates sales. Seasoned marketers call this concept intent to content.